Very soon, the world of combat sports will witness the long-awaited clash between two of the best lightweights on planet Earth. On October the 21st, the United Arab Emirates will once again open their doors to present an unforgettable spectacle to the world. Very soon, UFC 294 will take place featuring a historic rematch in the main event between Charles Oliveira and Islam Makachev. But apart from that, we have the rest of the card, which is equally deserving of your attention. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, also like and leave a comment in 4 words. And now, let's get started. Prelims, Mohamed Makayev vs Tim Elliott The first fight today originates straight from the flyweight division. Tim Elliott, the former Titan FC champion and contender for the main promotional gold, ranked 9th will face a young and confidently emerging threat in the form of the undefeated prospect Mohamed Makayev. Let's start with him. Mohamed Makayev hailing from Boyanask, Republic of Dagestan. At the moment, he is an undefeated young talent who burst into the main organization just a year ago. Exactly 365 days ago, we introduced a promotion for UFC 280, where we talked about the Punisher as a highly promising fighter capable of giving tough competition to most division representatives. Since then, the citizen of United Kingdom has added two early victories over strong opponents to his resume. Currently, he occupies the 11th spot in the rankings and eagerly seeks another win to solidify his position in his weight class. My name is Timothy Elliott, I'm from Wichita, Kansas, and I am the flyweight champion for Titan FC. Tim Elliott is a respected American mixed martial arts veteran involved in combat sports since May 2009. He is highly experienced and well-rounded in every aspect of the profession, capable of engaging in battles not just for points but for life or even death if the situation demands it. Despite not being able to secure the gold of the strongest league, Elliot continues to pose a threat to any fighter in the top 10. Currently, he is on a two-fight winning streak and if we take the time period from 2020 to present day, then since that time, he has had only one defeat by a decision of the judges. I, I want to stay active. I want to fight in July. If my maybe July to early August, wow. August and then October Abu Dhabi, I'm gonna be champion very soon. Uh, I believe many people start believing in me. I, I, it's not like I could finish Jafel in the first round when I had him in choke. I just don't. I, I want to be smart fighter. I want to be like. Listen, I've got another two rounds. I don't want to blow myself out here. And I want to, I'm, I'm a smart fighter. But the yeah, I don't even care, man. I just want to fight. I want to, I want to show the world and my team and my coaches that I'm listening and that I'm learning and that I am getting better. You know, I'm getting older, but my fight IQ, I feel like is at an all time high. Honestly, this is a very intriguing fight that would definitely settle any doubts on either side. Either the young prospect will prove he can compete with veterans worthy of attention, or Tim Elliott will make it clear that his time has not passed, and he is ready to fight for his place in the sun. Main Card Magomed Ankalaev vs Johnny Walker Next, we smoothly move into the main time and keep heading for light heavyweight. The next two in line are experienced and seasoned professionals who are able to make noise and raise the degree of the evening with any proposed opponent. Let's start with a native of Dagestan. Magomed 
Magomed Ankalaev is a top fighter of the light heavyweight division with a record of 18 wins with one defeat. Until December 2022, he went on a series of nine victories in a row and confidently trampled the path into the very heart of his weight class. In fact, he has already had the opportunity to challenge for championship gold at UFC 282. But then it all ended in a draw with Jan Blakovic and no one got the title. Currently, the peak and threatening prospect occupies the third line of the rating and is looking forward to the opportunity to return to the main octagon. The Irish-Brazilian prospect has been conquering the strongest league since August of 2018. After a successful appearance on Dana White's Challenger Series, Johnny Walker burst into the ranks of the UFC like a spark. Whatever his opponent is, this guy always tries to bring a show and deal with him as vividly and dynamically as possible. In February 2022, he had the opportunity to fight Jamal Hill, who until recently held the light heavyweight belt, but lost to him by knockout. After that, he managed to come back and go on a series of three wins in a row. I don't give up, sorry. But I went to there, talked to him, like, because every time I see him on, on UFCPI, in, in any place, I say, what's up, bro? Good relationship, you know? And then when we finish the conversation, I see you on the top, all right? All right, and shake his hand, and I did again. What's up, bro? See you on the top, I told you, <laughs> I'm coming. On paper, this is a very interesting and exciting confrontation, at least from a stylistic point of view and in light of the fact that the winner will surely join the ranks of the contenders for the division gold, and it becomes clear that we cannot miss this meeting in any way. Nasuddin Imamov vs Ikram Aliskerov And um, I keep proving that I'm, 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 I belong to the division, to the top division. Please give me top five, please give me the best in the division. I want to prove that. I can be one of the best. Nasuddin Imamov is a French Dagestani fighter who has been performing professionally since February 2016. Until December 2019, the sniper was stuffing himself with statistics, visiting different leagues almost for every subsequent battle. In October 2020, Imamov made his debut in the strongest organization and gradually began to attract close attention to himself. Currently, he occupies the 12th line of the middleweight rating, is on a record of 12 to 4, and his last performance with Chris Curtis ended without a result due to an unintentional clash of heads. But now he has to meet with the same hungry and promising compatriot. Thank you, thank you very much. I hope that you all were excited about my fight. I'm not going to say too many words, but I'm here and I have a lot of goals, and hopefully, with God's help, I'll make sure to make some noise here. Ikram Aliskerov is a Russian fighter from Dagestan who has been performing professionally since April 2012. During the first six years of his active career, Aliskerov was considered invincible until he met Kamzat Chemaev and lost to Boz by knockout in the first round. After a while, the Chechen recalled this fight and called Ikram a very tough guy. I think one guy I met in, in the Brave. Uh... Ikram Aliskerov, he has to be in the UFC, that guy is good. I think he won five fights after me and uh, that guy is really good. Despite the defeat, Dagestan Avenue did not stop there and continued to conquer local promotions. By September 2022, he entered the Dana White's Challenger Series where he stopped the opponent with Kimura in the starting segment. And not so long ago, he officially made his debut in the strongest league and knocked out Phil Howes in 2 minutes and 10 seconds. In the post-match interview, he shared his plans for the future and mentioned Kamzat, to whom he wants to return the favor. My goals in the UFC immediately is to get to 10, uh, top 10, top 5. And I know this guy is in that area, so I'm sure that we'll see each other. But, but for now, it's not the rematch that I'm thinking about. But to get to Chemaev, Aliskerov needs to take his place among the best middleweights in the top 15. And for this, he must first pass Nazuddin Imamov and we have no right to miss this meeting. Co-main event, Kamzat Chemaev vs Paulo Costa. 
Saturday night's co-main event will present us with a blood-stirring confrontation between a Brazilian monster and a Chechen killer. Kamzat Chemayev and Paulo Costa have been throwing a rude trash talk at each other for a long time, but the strongest league managed to organize the full-fledged meeting between them only now. Let's start with Boars. Swedish Chechen conquers the main promotion for only a few years, but even with long breaks, he continues to be heard by everyone. At the moment, Kamsat Chemayev's record is 12 wins without defeats, only one of which ended with a unanimous judicial decision in the direction of Boars. Kamsat is an image of the primordial predator, which does not hesitate to rush at its prey as soon as it is locked in the same octagon with it. And very soon, he will find himself in a cage with a guy who is very similar to him in this criterion. Paulo Costa is a huge and powerful Brazilian capable of turning a person inside out with just a couple of his punches and performing resuscitation actions in the opposite direction. Borrachinha always goes after his opponent's head, stopping at nothing. This is an indestructible Terminator who pursues his victim back to front, constantly advancing and taking away health with each attack inflicted. Until 2020, he was considered invincible before he faced the last stylebender and suffered the first defeat in his professional career. Despite this, Costa continued to work hard and move towards his goal. The last time we saw him was in August 2022, and then he defeated Luke Rockhold by unanimous decision. What the fool? <laughs> Dude, this, this is parade. He's terrified. Terrified. Look at this. <laughs> what the f You can't hide from me. You can't hide from me. Oh, I swear for God, I feel sorry for him. Oh my God. <laughs> I came to you, but I came to you. <laughs> Look at this. Homer Shechen has no chance. Zero. No chance. I'm going to destroy him. Paulo, Paulo, you dead man. Just be sure, come up to the cage, beat you up, send you back in the package to Brazil. But still in Brazil, they don't want you. No countries recognize you. To be honest, we can't wait to witness the energy and intent of these guys in one octagon. And you? Main event, Islam Makhachev versus Charles Oliveira 2. Islam Makhachev is gonna be new lightweight champion in Abu Dhabi. And Islam gonna beat all this guy who is gonna put in front of him. Doesn't matter who is next. Well, for me, I, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't put Charles there at all. How many losses did he have? How many rounds has he lost? How many times has he been dropped? Tell me any one of those things that's happened to Habib. No one's touched them. Uh, the, the guy that the guy that hit Habib the best ever was Mike was Michael Johnson. So for me, I, I don't look at that as as putting in the goat discussion. Of course, there are some potential dangers that we're working on where Islam needs to be very careful. Other than that, I believe that Islam should rule over him. In the cages, course, he gonna understand. You know, he gonna understand my my power my wrestling skills and I'm gonna be ready if it doesn't matter. It was a brief retelling of the main events of a year ago. How quickly time flies, doesn't it? Since the Dagestan juggernaut and the Brazilian Dubronx shared the octagon for the first time, 
quite a lot of events have happened both in the fighting world and in the game as a whole. But as for Islam and Charles, it's pretty simple. I didn't see this short guy, bring him here. Let's do it, hey. The lightweight on the line, pound for pound number one on the line, let's do it. The first defense of Makachev fell on Alexander Volkanovsky, who was leading the rating of the best fighters at that time. Following the result of five rounds, the Dagestan champion did everything for a unanimous victory and successfully extended the winning streak. At the same time, Charles managed to meet with another top contender and give comments about the fight with Islam. The fight, um, I didn't watch it. It wasn't me. I wasn't there. Uh, this is a different Charles. This is a Charles that's thirsty. The Charles that you're going to see is a Charles, the Charles that you know that's thirsty for victory, that's hungry, um, someone who's back at it, and the, a lion that's always hunting. That's the Charles that you're going to see. Hello, Vancouver! Hello, Canada! Hi. I'm sorry, my English is little. I thank so much. I big support. I big fans. Hey, Charles Oliveira, a big champion. The champion is the name. The Charles Oliveira, brother. In June 2023, Oliveira took another contender out of the way and cleaned up the entire lightweight division. After a knockout in the first round over Benil Dariush, De Bronx clearly showed that he is the only one who should get a title opportunity at the moment. Yeah, incredible performance, especially against, uh, you know, Benil, who a lot of people thought was going to win this fight. And uh, yeah, incredible. The head of the strongest league did not cheat and soon made an announcement. Abu Dhabi, UFC 294 on Saturday, October 21st. The main event, Islam Makachev will defend his lightweight title in the rematch against Charles Oliveira. And now an enchanting clash awaits us between a doubly charged Dubronx and an unstoppable force from Dagestan in the person of Islam Makachev. Hey, hey, there's something missing here. The champion has a name and it's Charles Oliveira from the Bronx. I show why I'm number one. They have to improve more. They have good striking, good wrestling, grappling skills. This is his area, but you like or you don't like, I am best fighter in the world right now. Thank you. What do you think about the upcoming tournament in the heart of Abu Dhabi? Write your opinion in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so as to not miss new videos. And of course, put the champion's like if you enjoyed this video. See you soon.